Hey, we are now being joined by Christian Edwards. Once again, we'll begin with a few questions with the media. Santiago, your line is now live. Hi, Christian. Thank you for the time. How are you experiencing this fight week in San Jose thus far? Um, you know, it's been a, a pretty good experience so far. You know, I love uh, one of my favorite things about what I do for a living is the traveling aspect. I love seeing the world and seeing different cultures. And, uh, you know, I can't complain about San Jose. It's, it's, a, it's a nice city and, and it's a nice uh, state for sure, uh, California. So, um, yeah, I've, I've enjoyed my stay here so far. How did your camp go with Jackson Wink MMA? And did you get to train a lot with some other big teammates like John Jones and Defion Franklin? Uh, yeah, I definitely, um, this camp, I mostly uh, worked with Davion Franklin, Devin Clark, um, who's also fighting uh, on Saturday, and Antonio Arroyo, who's also fighting on Saturday. Um, I worked with Juan Adams, who just won his heavyweight title in theory. Um, and, and just, you know, a lot of uh, people that have definitely um, pushed me and, and have, like, actually made me a better fighter, I believe, like, in the gym, like, just grinding with me. A lot of things are going on in the light heavyweight division. Of course, there's a tournament going on, but also lower ranked fighters are scheduled to fight now. Where do you see your place in this division after a win on Saturday? On Saturday, I honestly believe that there is no denying that um, I, I deserve a top 10 guy because I am a top 10 guy myself. So um, after this fight, I believe they'll give me a top 10 guy for sure. And then once I beat whoever they put in front of me, then um, it's only a matter of time before I start to stack up some big wins and then um, hopefully I can get a title shot by the end of uh, next year. Good luck on five nights, sir. Nathan? Uh, hey, Christian. Uh, my question for you is, what statement do you want to make in the light heavyweight division as you prepare for this fight coming up? Um, I just want to um, pretty much put the whole division on notice. You know, like I feel like I'm a, a big problem for anybody in the 205 division. And, and um, everybody knows it, I feel like, because, you know, otherwise, you know, like I haven't heard anybody say my name. You know what I mean? Like nobody's at saying I want that Christian Edwards fight, you know. So, I mean, I just feel like it's only um, a matter of time before those guys are forced to fight me. And then once I beat whoever they put in front of me next, um, I believe that um, I'll be – right there in the title conversation, um, whoever that may be, whether it's Phil Davis, Anthony Johnson, Yoel Romero, Leoto Machida, whoever. Tony? Hey, Christian, hope, hope you're well. Um, so in an ideal scenario, you get the win, you remain undefeated. The 49ers beat the Eagles on Sunday, great weekend. Yeah, for sure, man, for sure. <laughs> and, I, yeah, no, I, and, I'm actually, and obviously, No, go ahead. Sorry, go on. No, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, obviously, it's it's great to see you back in there so so quick after your last fight. I mean, given how young you are in, in the sport still, is is that the most important thing, just to, you know, be as active as, as humanly possible? Yeah, for sure, man. Just because, you know, I uh, it was a pretty quick turnaround, so I didn't have time to, uh, you know, get... Uh, get fat and put on some weight, you know what I mean? I was uh, I was already in shape when I started the camp, and the, this is actually the best weight cut I've ever had. Honestly, I got to give a lot of credit to my girlfriend, Monica, who's been, um, you know, cooking for me, making sure I eat clean, and, and um, also, like, doing cardio with me every day. And um, just on top of that, you know, like, training like a beast like I always do, you know, and, and um, putting in the, the hours in the gym and, and working with so many talented fighters like Davion Franklin and Devin Clark and Tony Arroyo, Juan Adams, all those guys, you know, and uh, Lydell Polk, who's also an up and comer, who's under the same management as me. Um, so I just, you know, I, I really um, like my odds for sure going into this fight because I'm, I'm in tremendous shape and I really don't believe we'll be able to keep up. Best of luck for the weekend. Thank you. Dylan? Hey there, Christian. I appreciate you making some time. Yeah, of course, man. Thank you. I'm just curious because this Ben Parrish fight is one that has, you know, fallen by the wayside a couple of times, you know, factors beyond the immediate control. But my question is, is like, is there a level of, you know, closure associated with a fight like this just because you prepare multiple times for a certain opponent and now you're finally getting out there to do it? Yeah, I would say so for sure. Just because 
I've thought about, you know, freaking hurting this man so many times since the first time we were booked. And honestly, I'm just ready to, you know, get, you know, get it out of the way and, and, and get another win under my belt. And, and I'm not looking past Ben at all. I, I respect him as a fighter and as opponent, but I know what I'm capable of. And I, and I, I believe that I'm on a completely different level than him. And I, and I believe it's going to show um, when we face each other in, in the cage uh, on Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. And there's definitely the level of focus on your opponent, like you're saying, but just entertaining the idea, you get the ideal outcome here. Is there a level of, you know, you're going to be studying the main event just because it's a pretty key fight in your division or is like the streamlined focus just totally on the. Yeah. I mean, for now it's definitely all about Ben Parrish for sure. Um, but that is a fight that intrigues me just because it'll be interesting to see like how it uh, shapes the the division depending on who wins on on Saturday, you know, because Yoel Romero, you know, he's uh, you know he's up there in age. He's a very talented fighter and a, and a legend in this sport, uh, but he's up there in age, so I can't. I really don't see him doing this much longer. Um, but Phil Davis, I know he's still got a lot of gas in the tank, and I know that um, he wants that title. You know, he talks about it, and I believe he he's still trying to uh, to win that title. So. I think I, I definitely am going to pay attention to it for sure. But honestly, yeah, it's just all about Ben Parrish for now. Mason. Hey, Christian, this is Mason from Overtime Heroics. How are you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. How are you? I'm doing great. This is a quick turnaround for yourself. How excited are you to be back in the octagon after not, not even that long out? I, man, I couldn't be more excited, honestly. Like, I feel great. Like I said, I, I started this camp in shape already because it was the quick turnaround. This is the best way could have ever had in my life, honestly. And, yeah, man, I'm just – I'm excited to to go out there and, and really make a statement and show that every fight I'm always getting better and every fight I'm, I'm never going to look the same as I did in the last fight. And last thing from me, what can we expect from yourself come fight night? Uh, just, I would say, expect – a dominant performance on my behalf and, and a lot of violence for sure. Lennon. Hey, Christian, Len, Lennon, Chris, sports and culture media. How's it going? Good, man. How are you? I'm doing good. Um, with your undefeated streak on the line, what kind of pressure do you have to keep it going? Um, honestly, man, uh, there really is no pressure. You know, I, I always have a feeling of just, undeniable self-belief going into fight week you know just because i know the work that i've put in the time that i've put in and how much of my life i've dedicated to this particular craft you know and and um it really is no pressure you know i mean of course you know there is some like you know some talk about me and my future and how bright it is and stuff like that and you know a lot of people would uh would consider that pressure but i don't i just consider it more of a compliment because i i know it to be true and and the fact that some other people see it to be true as well is just uh, is really a compliment to me. Okay. And uh, I know with this pressure, you said there is none, but what do you usually do to take your mind off of it, like training camp-wise, if you have like a second to like, just like, just kind of like be yourself, you know? Uh, yeah, I mean, I because outside of training, uh, I really just, honestly, man, I, I'm a boring guy, man. You know what I mean? I don't really do much other than the train. I just, I love to train. You know, that's my, that's really my hobby. Even when I'm not in camp, I, I train, you know? So it's, I mean, I, I like, I like to play video games from time to time, but uh, hanging out with my girlfriend, playing video games occasionally. And yeah, you know, that's, that's really about it, man. We'll take one or two more here. Todd. Todd, go ahead. Oh, sorry. I was just muted there. Hey, hey Christian there. This is Todd with Fight.News. Hey, uh, man, if all goes well, you see yourself uh, maybe fighting more often with uh, quicker turnarounds like this? Maybe start really uh, racking up fights in the year to get where you need to be a little faster? Um, maybe not like every single time. I mean, of course, I want to like the goal for me is to I want to fight at least like three to four times each year, you know, so. Maybe not like a super quick turnaround every time, but um, I'm not totally opposed to it. But also at the same time, I got to take into consideration the things that I put my body through in training camp. And and um, that adds up after, you know, years and years of doing it. You know, I've, 
I've seen it and I've heard it from veterans that train at my gym. And uh, yeah, just, you know, um, it's just being smart and, and approaching in a, in a reasonable way. Oh, absolutely. That's smart. And given your age, you can afford to do uh, four to five fights a year uh, for the next couple of years anyway, until you get a little older like us older guys. Uh, one last question for me. How are you winning this fight, man? What's what's where is your strongest point and where where are you just not going to be beaten? Honestly, I win it any way I want to, uh, whether it's on the feet, on the ground, um, three round beat down. You know, I can submit him. I can KO him, TKO him. Honestly, I, I'm better than him everywhere. And it's it's going to show on Saturday. All right, Christian, thank you very much for the time. Good luck on Saturday, man. Thank you.